can you clean a column? And the answer is sure. So let's say your column is dirty. Um, let's say you got a reverse face column, a C18 column. And what does it mean to say it's dirty? Well, to me, uh, first of all, if you physically damage the column, if you bent it in half, if you, uh, if you ran it at, at pH 14 overnight, you dissolved all the silica, you know, um, if you ran it at pH zero and, and you, you chopped off all the C18 chains, yeah, those are perma damages. But good news is, those kind of things rarely happen. Usually what happens to a column is two things. First, the top print gets dirty. What happens, why does that happen? Because you guys are not filtering your samples. So if you have particulates in the sample, they'll clog the top of the column, your pressures will increase, you'll start seeing doublets and, 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 and uh, um, splits on the peaks. That's an indication of, of a dirty frit. You could avoid that just by filtering your samples. So um, by the way, if you have a dirty frit, this is a very controversial topic. So um, at great risk to myself, I'm gonna give you my best solution to having a dirty frit, and that is uh, you switch the column backwards and you run it upside down and it will clean the frit immediately. You will go from a plug frit to a perfect frit in seconds. Um, but I say it's controversial because a column company will say, don't ever change the flow of the column. And I agree with them. I used to pack columns, always use them in the same direction. That's the best answer. But if you've plugged up the frit of your column, if you have split peaks, you're not getting any good use out of that column. Uh, if you flip it around, you will, you'll see an immediate improvement. And that means you had particulates sitting, just collecting on the head of the, of the column. Best, better answer, don't ever let that happen. So filter your samples. Uh, so now clean, let's clean a dirty column. This column is dirty because I've been injecting, I don't know, a bunch of chicken fat samples and the chicken fat is just accumulating and building up on the C18s because it's very nonpolar. And so now I wanna clean the column. Easy answer. All we need to do is wash it with a very high percentage of organic, either 100% methanol or 100% or uh, acetonitrile. But before we do that, especially if we've been using buffers, unknowns, polar compounds, I like to wash the column with a very high percentage of water. I know it sounds backwards, water's weak, but in this case, we're gonna use like a 90-10 water acetonitrile uh, or water methanol. And when we do that, we're gonna flush out all the buffers. We're gonna get every little crystal buffer that was in there. We're gonna get rid of the really polar compounds, the azo dyes, we're gonna get rid of all that stuff. And then we're gonna step it up to 100% methanol, 100% acetonitrile. I like to do my column cleaning at 60 or 70 degrees Celsius. So crank up the temperature a little bit, let it run for an hour. There are very few compounds on this planet that'll stick onto a C18 uh, for, for an hour under those conditions, right? We are running with a very strong mobile phase. So that is how you clean uh, any reverse phase column of the world. You can't do any damage to it. Um, you, you simply uh, get rid of the buffers first, high percentage of water, then go to a very high percentage of acetonitrile or methanol. Uh, the third solvent that is THF, it is stronger than the other two. I personally don't go to THF. I don't find a need to do that. Um, if you have something which is polymerized on the column, that kind of stuff, THF helps. But I find 100% acetonitrile, 100% methanol will clean up just about everything. 